Hey guys, this is Beta Knights, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White. In the last episode, we went through Route 3, finished it up, and came in here to the gate between Route 3 and Nacreen City, which is the next town with a gym in this game. And in this episode, I'm hoping to get into the gym and hopefully get up to, or at least most of the way to, the gym leader, so that way we can actually get some progress in this LP. And I hope you guys have fun while we're doing it. And we're power off already. <laughs> I have a question, guys, if any of you remember, because I can't. When does he, like, stop talking to you every five feet you go? <laughs> Come with me a sec. Like, I have a choice. Eh, whatever. At least the music's good. If you go straight from here, there's Pokemon Center. Dude, I can see it from here. <laughs> and use these if you want. Chesto berries, yay. In case you didn't know, those wake you up if your Pokemon falls asleep. Give your Pokemon a Chesto Berry to hold. Then, if it ever falls asleep, it will wake up immediately. I just said that. Oh, and another piece of advice. The Korean City's Gym Leader uses normal types. If you have a Fighting type Pokemon, it might give you a big advantage. Okay, whatever. Oh, yeah, guys. Anyway, actually, on that note, um... Yeah, I did s some leveling. Actually, almost some power leveling off-screen. <laughs> Well, not power leveling, but I did some good leveling off screen and got my Pokemon to around like between 16 and 18. Um, I didn't mean to level up my Tepig to 17 because I want you guys to see the evolution, so I actually stopped it. Um, and I will show you that as soon as he raises up another level, which should be in this episode as long as I do things right. Now, if you come in here, two doors down to the right from the Pokemon Center and talk to this girl. Oh my, what a lovely trainer. What kind of Pokemon do you have? Oh, you're Tepig. It's very friendly towards you. It must be happy with you. Ha, tell that to Team Plasma. <laughs> anyway, she actually rates the happiness of your Pokemon, which is very useful for Pokemon that evolved by happiness. Now, this girl right here, I don't really have much to talk to her about right now, but if you talk to her, she will offer to trade you one of the Pokemon you can find in the next area that we're going to head to after the city for the version of it that doesn't appear in your version of the game. So if you're playing Pokemon White, she'll give you the Pokemon that's only found in Pokemon Black and vice versa. I, mean, I like these houses. You can come up this way too. Yay, side stairs. Anyway, um, in this house there's a shop that you can buy items that you can't get in the Poke Pokemart in this game, or in this city. It's just the things like X attack and all that, so not much. Now if you go here, uh, okay, I think it was this girl. The thing you have is a Pokedex, isn't it? Wow, cool, you collect Pokemon. Okay, I'll help you. Okay, yeah, this is her. Which Pokemon did you choose at the beginning of your journey? Now, I would recommend, unless you have a Pokemon that you'd rather use this for, choose the Pokemon that you actually did in the beginning. So, if I choose Tepig. Do you have Tepig? Yes. You have Tepig. Then I will give you this. When you let your Pokemon hold it, it can raise the power of fire type moves. And you get a charcoal for free. Now, charcoal and the items for water and grass, which she'll give you if you choose the other choices, will raise the power of those moves by those type moves by 10%. It's not a lot, but in the beginning it could help, and later on it's even a help, I guess. Now, I'm actually gonna equip that to my Tepic because that could probably help in the upcoming battles. So, okay, let's give it a him. And that's basically all to do in here. But unless you have something like how I have Bramble, my Pansage, if you want, if you would rather power him up, then by all means choose Snivy, even if you got a Tepig or whatever one. Now, if you walk near this guy, see how you could hear the accordion add on to the music. This is just like the drummer and the pianist from, I think, Accumula Town. Yeah. Like I said, these guys are all around the game, so it's a great help. Now this waitress right here, you can talk to that one behind the counter, I forgot what she says. But if you talk to this waitress here on Wednesdays, she says they're having a special in the in the cafe today, and you get a free soda pop. Again, that's a really good healing item, especially for the beginning of the game. And, oh my god. It's a person! God, I love this music. I want to see things no one can see. The truths of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The ideals of how trainers should be. And a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? Yes, I do want to see that kind of thing, actually. That would be nice. 
That so? I think my friends and I should test you to see if you can see this future too. And you are thrust into another battle with Shedden. I highly recommend healing before this battle. He's not much harder than he was last time, or the, the trainer, trainers in this area are, so if you're playing along, don't mind it. His Pokemon are all the same level, level 13, and as you can see, I did a lot of leveling for the gym ahead. Maybe a little more than I should have, but his Pokemon should pose no threat to me at this point. Now, one really cool thing I would like to note about our little friend N here is his Pokemon team changes every single time you fight him. His Pokemon actually represent the wild Pokemon you can find around the area. Like these will all be Pokemon that you can find in the surrounding areas of the city and this will occur throughout the game. Whenever you fight him, he'll have Pokemon that you could normally find around the area or you can find some form of around the area. Ooh, and I level up. Okay, cool. I can show you his evolution after all. Pretty soon. Alright, next he sees he sends out a temple. This is actually a very good Pokemon when City evolves, and we're gonna get that in the next. We're gonna see that in the next area, I should say. I don't know if I'll get one or not. Um, it is a water type, so yeah, I'm not gonna send out uh, or keep my Tepigan for the sake that I actually want him to evolve at the end of this battle. So he sent out Temple, yay! It's a little tadpole. Looks like it has headphones. That is awesome. Honestly, that alone is enough to make me like this Pokemon. And anyway, my Bramble still didn't learn many good moves. I think all he learned was Leech Seed, which is still a good move, but attacking-wise, even against a Water-type. Ah, <sighs> really? Okay, for those of you who don't know, Confusion, it hurts. If you hurt yourself, it's based on your attack stat, so if you're a special Pokemon, Confusion's not going to do much. But if you're a physical Pokemon, like my Starter, or if you have a Rog and Roll, something like that, it's going to hurt a lot more. Next, he's sending out Timber. This is a fighting type Pokemon that we'll also see in the next area. Now, I want to get her some experience, so here's Drilly. I still need to figure out a better name for her. She doesn't have many good attacking moves, at least not many that would work against Timber here that well, but. Ah. Okay, it's starting to get a little lag. Sorry about that. And he's mud slap. It's very weak, but it makes the accuracy go down. That could help. Oh crap, I just realized it was biting. It might not have been a good idea to attack her right now. <sighs> Whatever, I got nothing else to do. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh god. <laughs> don't dodge, really. Okay. See, not that hard. I cannot see the future yet. Something, 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 something. I don't know what he said after that. Damn it. Oh, sorry about that. Don't mean to cuss. And yay, my little piggy's evolving. I can honestly say, I love his first form. It's cute. And his last form looks awesome. His middle form... Not so much. It's like a weird cross between them. It's not bad, but... <laughs> Here we have Pig Knight. I don't mind Pig Knight really, it's just I don't like the whole thing how it looks like he's wearing a bodybuilder suit. I don't know, I just never like that. <laughs> right now my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that will change the world. So I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. You go do that. Later on you'll find why he... Oh god, now I know what power I need. Reshiram! The legendary Pokemon that, along with the hero, created the Innova region. It's my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. I want to be your friend. You're a cool person, compared to a lot of people. By the way, I'm not sure if this is turning it up in the recording, but I like how the shadows in this game have basically turned into polygons because of everything. But, um, I'm gonna go heal real quick before we head into the gym, so one moment. Okay, and we're back. Sorry, I don't know how soon that cut it, but... Nacreen City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Lenora. An archaeologist with backbone. I don't know, I just thought I'd show that for kicks. Yeah, if you read those things in front of each of the gyms, they say a little thing about each one. Okay, what's this? Wow, whenever I look at the skeleton, I'm fascinated. 
Welcome, I'm Haas, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. Why do I have to? The skeleton is of a dragon-type Pokemon. There's a theory that it had an accident while it was flying around the world, and so it became a fossil. If you look closely, that's actually a statue or a fossil of a Dragonite. So when I first played this game and I read the description saying of this was a Pokemon that once flew around the world, I actually thought that for a little bit that this game was placed like years and years after the other regions became extinct, and that's why, uh, that's why like none of them appeared in this region until way later in the game. But I wasn't sure until a friend corrected me, Kitsune Akane. Anyway, this rock is amazing. It's a meteorite. It contains some kind of energy from space. Oh, this? It's an ordinary old stone. It was found near the desert, but other than the fact that it's old, it doesn't seem to have any value. But you put it on display because it's rather pretty to look at. I guess a lot of people do go to museums just to look at stuff, so that makes sense. The Pokemon Gym is just beyond here. At the end of the gym, a very strong and kind gym leader is waiting. By the way, the gym leader Lenora happens to be my wife. Gasp! Yeah, this is the husband of the gym leader. He helps run the museum with his wife Lenora, the gym leader. So, we head in, and the music changes. And once again, Clyde, I believe? Yeah, that was his name. A Pokemon gym where a leader waits for a challenger at the back of a museum. It has a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So, I will give this to you. And then we get another fresh water. Awesome. He'll actually give us one of these for every gym that we enter, so that's pretty nifty. I gotta stop saying nifty. <laughs> All trainers in this gym use normal type Pokemon. This is just between you and me. Normal type Pokemon are weak against fighting type Pokemon. On here, fighting type Pokemon show up around Pinwheel Forest. That's the next area in the game, by the way. Now I'll explain about the gym itself. In this Pokemon gym, if you answer questions hidden in books, you can move forward. For any information, the first book is Nice to Meet You, Pokemon. If you don't know where the book is, please ask anyone. Well, that was very specific. Anyway, if this wasn't a Pokemon game and you had to find a specific book, that could get kind of annoying, but luckily Pokemon games will straighten you out right to the book. Anyway, uh, let's see what this guy has to say before I cut. I hang around the Korean gym all the time. People call me a bookworm. I'll warn you now, I am strong because I spend the entire day either reading books or training Pokemon. Again, I train off screen. What do you do? Anyway, I'm going to cut this because there's not really much need to see this, so be right back. And here we go, and let's see. I don't know where that next book is going to be, so let's try this one. Nice to meet you, Pokemon. Do you want to read this book? Yes, that's the one I wanted. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He is with a small brown Pokemon. So that sentence looked kind of weird before. There's a memo between the pages. Pokemon trainers, I am the gym leader Lenora. I hid four memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions and come find me? Now this is the first question. What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? Um... Crap, what did I just fight? Oh yeah. The hint is... On a bookshelf in the middle row. Now, try to find it. Great. Now I see a person over there, so I'm naturally going to go to this one. Biology of Patrat. Yes, I fought a Patrat with that first guy. It describes the biology of Patrat. No, really? They communicate with each other by moving on their tails. A Patrat races its tail when it sees an enemy. There's a memo on the back cover. As I thought, the question was easy. Well, there's a second question. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? Hint is, somebody may be reading it. Okay, and as that, I think we'll check the save option. Because we're cutting it low on time again. And I don't want to go too far over and have to edit out parts I would rather not. So, for now, guys, this is Beta Knights. This, and this is Let's Play Pokemon White. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like my videos, subscribe, comment, like, dislike, give your honest opinions. I appreciate them all. Now, I'd like you all to have a good day, and I'll see you next time with more Pokemon information, and we'll defeat the gym next time. Bye-bye.